the peoples of the United Nations determined to save succeeding generations from the scourge of war, which twice in our lifetime has brought untold sorrow to mankind. And to reaffirm faith in fundamental human rights. In the, in the dignity and worth of the human person. In the equal rights of men and women and of nations large and small and to establish conditions under which justice and respect for the obligations arising from treaties and other sources of international law can be maintained, and to promote social progress and better standards of life in larger freedom. And for these ends, to practice tolerance and live together in peace with one another as good neighbors. And to unite our strength to maintain international peace and security, and to ensure by the acceptance of principles and institutional methods that armed force shall not be used. Save in the common interests and to employ international machinery for the promotion of economic and social advancement of all peoples. Minnesota YMCA Youth and Government Model United Nations, held in the spring of each year, is the Midwest's premier program of its kind. Students in grades 7 through 12 try their hand at solving the world's problems by taking on the roles of leaders of UN member nations. For three days, delegates discuss current world issues, debate heated international court cases, and deal with global crisis situations as they arise. It also gives students a chance to use their talents and abilities while making friends from around the state. Youth and government clubs or groups are formed in December and January at local YMCA's and schools throughout the state. These groups are called delegations. With the help of adult advisors, students research their countries and discuss world issues. Delegates then choose the country they wish to represent and then take their places in one of the four main organs, the General Assembly, the Economic and Social Council, the International Court of Justice, and the Security Council. The General Assembly, or GA, is the main body of the United Nations. Members are broken up into committees where delegates work together to come to agreement on pressing world issues. Once a committee comes to a consensus on how to deal with each problem, it writes a resolution outlining its plan. For each resolution to be passed, it must be discussed and approved by the entire General Assembly. The Economic and Social Council, or ECOSOC, is the organ most responsible for helping countries develop their economies, improving health and education of citizens, and dealing with many other social problems in developing nations. With limited resources, the ECOSOC will provide human resources and financial assistance to improve overall health and well-being of people all over the world. The International Court of Justice, or ICJ, is the world's only court devoted to resolving legal disputes between nations. The ICJ plays an important role in the United Nations mission of preventing war. Countries will make their arguments before an unbiased group of justices and are handed a decision which they must respect to avert bloodshed. The Security Council is primarily responsible for maintaining international peace and security. This guardian of world peace is solely responsible for recognizing any threat to the world peace and security. The Security Council makes recommendations for peacefully resolving such situations and can commit armed forces to assist in conflict resolution. Because of its responsibilities, the Security Council mostly deals with crisis and emergency situations. After a hard day's work of improving the health and education of citizens and maintaining peace and security around the world, Model United Nations allows delegates time for exciting evening activities. This includes an international banquet featuring a live cultural performance, dance, and film festival. I'm in the Security Council, it was pretty fun. I need a screw. Uh, we have passed two resolutions already and uh, it was pretty fun. I learned a lot. I learned a lot about other countries and um, the communities around the world and it's really interesting. We learned a lot about our own country today and how to dispute in a case in the courts. I'm in the Administrative Committee and I learned a lot about different issues concerning different countries as well as our own. 
Remember, anyone in grades 7 through 12 can get involved in the Youth in Government Model United Nations program. Take part in changing the world. Join Model United Nations. For more information on Youth in Government Model United Nations or one of the other great programs Youth in Government offers, contact the Youth in Government State Office. If you live in the Twin Cities area, call 612 823-1381 or call the statewide hotline at 1-800-372-0002 or check us out on the web at www.mnyig.org. Call today!